What is the nature and nurture in psychology? Nature describes behaviours that are innate, that are born to us, or genetically determined by our genes and DNA. Nurture describes behaviours that are acquired as a result of experience or because of environmental influences. This debate centres on whether particular behaviours are mainly or entirely innate, born or genetically determined, or whether they are acquired through experience or the influence of the environment. Traditionally, both of the nature and nurture viewpoints of human behaviour were considered to be determinist and didn't give any scope for free will. However, increasingly, people acknowledge that a lot of behaviour comes about through a mixture of inborn predispositions and environmental experiences, i.e. a mixture of nature and nurture, an interaction between the two. The debate is also closely linked with reductionism because extreme nature or extreme nurture arguments are by definition reductionist. By saying that some aspect of behaviour is solely caused by genes or solely caused by experience, it could be seen as a reductionist argument. There are many nature-nurture debates in psychological theory, however these often tend to be historical rather than current. Nowadays, most psychologists see the development of behaviour differently. They see biological predisposition as guiding development in certain directions, but experience as influencing how that development manifests itself. The two sources are seen as interconnected, not as opposing alternatives, and it is the way that they interact which is the focus of interest. One strength of the nature versus nurture debate is that the distinction can help us identify behaviours that are inherited or learned, or allow us to consider the relative contributions of inheritance and learning. It can also be valuable to discover that some behaviour is due to nature and not to quote inappropriate upbringings by parents. One of the weaknesses of the nature versus nurture debate is that it is simplistic to divide explanations into nature and nurture, when the two may truly combine in complex ways to influence behaviour. Another possible weakness is that discovering a particular behaviour or capacity, for example intelligence, is inherited, may lead to some assuming many more behaviours are inherited and fail to consider the effects of the environment. As mentioned earlier, the debate is also deterministic because it offers no scope for free will. It assumes that behaviour is learnt from the environment and that the environment will change our behaviour. 